won this event in 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004. So you're fair to say he's pretty good at it. You would think so. There's uh, the full list for you. Adam Pine, the two old boys in one and two. Yeah, it'd be a good story if Adam can also qualify for the team. He's been doing this since 1993 on the Australian team. Which I think was the year that Tessa Wallace was born. <laughs> I'm sure he's appreciative of that. He's got two boys himself. And he holds down a full-time job with Swimming Australia as the Sport Development Officer. A big cheer for Jeff Hugel. He's moved down to the fourth fastest of all time. He came into the metre second fastest. And of course, Andrew and Matt went very quick in the semis. With Andrew taking out the Australian record. This is Matt Jokovic. This trains with Steve Alderman at the Sydney Uni Club. He said he was saving the long suit. For the final, here he is. Andrew Waterstein, 21-year-old, and Matt Target. He's playing a pretty quick visit here. He's got to go back to the States for his NCAA performance for his, uh, his college, for Auburn. And uh, that's in a couple of days' time, so he'd love to triumph here. Here's Garth Cates, another youngster on the way up. Yeah, he trains also with that super squad at the Anthorpe Pool with Grant Stolwinder. Chris Wright has already qualified for the team in the 200 Butterfly on day one. Susie O'Neill's cousin. By marriage. By marriage, Cliff Fairley, her husband, it's his cousin. Still a good story. Don't let the truth stand in No, of course. <laughs> Matt Lenton. Matt Lenton. Good swimming name for you there. Yes. Of course, she's now Trickett. So who do you like in this one, Anthony? I'll go for Target. Okay. Thanks for putting the pressure on. Take your mark. Hugel in lane two. But it's Waterstein and Target in four and five, and Kate's in six. All going out very hard. Yeah, it looks as though lane number three, though. Matt Jokovic getting off to a great start, but here comes Matt Target. Hugel's out of it. It's tight between the rest of them. Lauderstein maybe with target. Very, very close. Djokovic just off the pace. Lauderstein goes to the line and he's got it. Target second. And the power of Andrew Lauderstein on display again. That came down to the timing of the touch. Matt Target was actually in front of Andrew coming into the final stroke, but he was just caught out. Normally in a longer butterfly race, you can actually adjust your stroke, shorten, shorten, shorten a little bit with each stroke. You can't do it in a 50. They're awesome off the start. That's Matt Target closest to you. Here's the overhead. And you'll see that Matt Target with a silver cap on is ahead of Lauderstein. Look at the big kick. Oh, break your heart, wouldn't it? All this work, but you have to get it right on the night. He'll learn from it. He's got the spot on the team, individually in the 50 metres butterfly, as too Andrew has. So well done to those two boys. Both of them backing up with 100 freestyle semis as well. Whew. Fast and furious tonight in the pool. It was fast and furious. And for two of them, their work continues. Jeff got night. fifth, by the way, Jeff Hugel. He wasn't really in the race. Still step in the right direction. Absolutely. Adam Pine, the other veteran, in sixth. They'll both race the 100 butterfly a little bit later, Adam Pine. Let's go down to Mark Howard, who's very busy on the pool deck tonight. Poor big fella, that was fast and furious. Your touch was absolutely sensational on the wall. Yeah, we've been um, really honing our skills the last couple of weeks and um, came to fruition tonight. It was such a quick race. How are we just starting? It just unfolds so quickly. Yeah, it's a quick race and um, backing up after the 100 freestyle semi-final, I'm pretty pleased with the time, but uh, yeah, generally my skills I think were pretty good then. Things are going pretty well for you this week, it's a busy week for you. Yeah, and it doesn't get much easier from here, I've got the 100 fly tomorrow morning and then so the double up tomorrow night, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying myself and uh, I showed there that I can back up and do two races in a row, so tomorrow night, tomorrow night won't be a problem. I don't want to mention any names, but there's a few ladies around the centre here disappointed that you had the full suit on tonight, <laughs> but you've done the right thing on the interview, mate. Yeah, yeah, whipped it off as quick as I could. <laughs> Who are you looking to up there? Nicole. Oh, <laughs> Good on you, mate. Well done. Cheers. <laughs>
He's a naughty he boy. Is a isn't naughty he? boy, Howie. Look, it's for all of the female viewers. I'm sure they're enjoying it. What a night of drama it was. Since